Before last week's game, the St. Louis Cardinals were off to their best start in eight years, while the Dallas Cowboys had lost three straight for the first time in ten years. But the Cowboys had beaten the Cardinals six straight times, including twice last season, by the combined score of 75 to 13. This year, Don Coyell's Cardinals have been winning with the big play. Last week, the game's first big play went the other way. And it was about as big as the field will allow. An NFL record tie 98-yard punt return by Dennis Morgan, a rookie burner from Western Illinois. Dennis Morgan's big play gave Dallas the early lead. But with time running out in the first quarter, St. Louis pulled off another of the year's biggest plays. First, Mel Gray, the Cardinals' little big play receiver, limped to the sidelines and was replaced by his backup, Gary Hammond, a third-year wide receiver, but a former college quarterback at SMU. Then, Jim Hart threw a lateral to Hammond, number 30, who threw downfield to a somewhat open Jackie Smith. Eighty-three yards later, Cliff Harris saved a touchdown, but only temporarily. And then in the Cardinals' next series, Jim Hart hit another big play. This time for 80 yards to, you guessed it, miraculously recovered Mel Gray. On the next series, Roger Staubach tied the game at 14 with a touchdown pass to Gene Fugit, the third-year tight end from Amherst. The fantastic first half fireworks display was not over yet. With just 18 seconds left in the first half, Jim Hart found old reliable Jackie Smith, a 12-year tight end who's still a bull with the artist's touch. At the half, it was Dallas 14, surprising St. Louis 21. On the Cardinals' first possession of the third quarter, St. Louis mounted the lead to 28 to 14. This time, the honors went to the Cardinals' other little big man, Terry Metcalf, number 21. Roger Staubach fought back. Behind flawless protection, eight times he hit league leader receiver Drew Pearson, number 88. For the season, Pearson already has 30 catches for more than 500 yards. Then with less than four minutes to play in the game, Staubach finally tied it 28-28. The whole game, Dallas had kicked off short to avoid Terry Metcalf. But this one time, Efren Herrera let it all hang out. Terry Metcalf's return carried 56 yards to the Dallas 34. And then with a minute to go, Jim Bakken decided an otherwise even contest of big plays with the game's only field goal. For Dallas, a fourth consecutive loss three of them on last-ditch field goals. But for Cinderella St. Louis, a spotless five straight, wild, wacky, wonderful win.